Now we're gonna show you how to install your new VT replacement grip. There's gonna be a few things that you're gonna to need to make sure that you have an easy time installing. The first thing is a pair of scissors, one set of needle nose pliers, and one VT replacement grip. So now that you have everything you need, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is to remove your old replacement grip. So just make sure that you take out the finishing tape that comes with it. Sometimes it can get a little messy, but. And you just wanna kind of nice and easily take off the grip and sometimes there's gonna be some adhesive and residue there. So just, if it's on there, you're gonna to wanna to remove that. And if you have uh, any staples on the edge of the grip, you wanna just take your needle nose pliers, just carefully pop that off and pull off the old grip. So you should get something that looks like this. Now you're ready to install your VT replacement grip. Remember that VT replacement grips and all of VT grips use an adhesive free backing. So you're not gonna need to use any double-sided tape when installing your grips. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you start on the tapered end. So, the tapered end is the side that you always wanna start with whenever wrapping. So this is your regular side and this is your tapered side. As you see, it's kind of a little bit thinner and it kind of comes in a little bit than the other side. So you wanna take this and line that up on the bottom edge of your tennis racket. And you wanna pull and stretch. It can kinda of get a little tricky, so you gotta kind of be really careful with it. And make sure that when you wrap it the first time that you kind of have a nice, nice section here that you can kind of work with. So from here, you wanna really make sure that you are pulling tight and stretching. Make sure that the bevels and that the edges of every line that you twist on are nice and even and consistent. So you have a nice consistent width along the entire length of the grip. Now it's okay if you mess up, so you can always just remove and kind of reapply again. So don't panic if you feel like you're not doing it right. So remember, take this slow. You don't need to rush. Really make sure that you're doing a, a really nice job of keeping things nice and even and pulling and stretching along the entire length of the racket. Now you're gonna need to get your scissors and you're gonna wanna trim off the extra end of the grip. So what you wanna do next is you wanna make sure that you're covering as much as you can on the top. Take your scissors, line it up straight, cut off the excess. Take your finished and closed finishing tape. you are then applying and wrapping the edge of your grip.